Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Today, I'm going to be redoing my Moto Vlog helmet setup. I don't really like the way it came out. It lasted all of about three to four days. And just stay tuned. All right, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is removing the cheek pad to get all the wiring for the microphone out because I'm redoing everything. I'm going to be putting it back in a similar spot the microphones but like I said I don't really like the way this setup came out so I'm just gonna redo everything I ordered some new stuff from Amazon as well that I'm gonna be showing you guys here shortly and then we'll just take this off I'm gonna just cut these zip ties and just unwind all of this from the bracket and I'll get back to you guys when that's done. Alright, I unwounded all the microphone cable from the bracket and in case you guys are curious, I'm using Purple Panda microphone I bought it on Amazon. They're 40 bucks a piece and I'll put a link in the description. But this bracket I'm actually gonna be using on my Icon Air Flight. Whenever I'm ready to make that a motor vlog helmet. And right now I'm using my Voss helmet. V-O-S-S. -S. And my wife has an identical one as well. But this is a Voss 988 Moto-1 full face. Obviously. So this is my Icon Air Flight. I'm actually going to be using that other bracket that I just took off of the boss helmet on this one because as you can see you can't really put like an actual chin mount here they have them that you can put into these slots which I might get eventually but because this whole visor opens up but I'm actually going to use that mount on here whenever I decide to buy another microphone and able to put it in and hook everything up maybe buy another Senna as well but this is actually a nice helmet but if you haven't tried on an icon they're pretty tight especially when you try to remove it it's really tight all right so now I'm gonna unbox real quick everything I got from Amazon to do this project got this these are um little J-hook mounts for like a GoPro or a 360. These are little J-mounts. J-hook, I believe it's called. That's the company it's from. So you could probably just type that in on Amazon, but most likely I'll put a link in the description video. There's that. We got the Moto Rads chin mount. I got this from Amazon as well. This was like $35. I think this whole pack was like $5 or $6. This right here was $35. It comes with, this is the part that goes on the chin. And these are like the little wings that touch the side of the helmet. This has like a little lip right here. And this has a groove inside of here. You want to slide it upward like this. And it will just pop in. That way it's like secure. But this is how it will go on the helmet. Something like that. That way it has three points of contact. I got this adapter, I haven't tested it out yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to work. This is an adapter to, um, for the, that plugs into the side of the camera, it'll come out like a 90, instead of just straight out, it'll come out of a 90, that way I don't hit it, because I hit, I've hit it a couple times already, the microphone setup, and it messed up my camera angle, and then this is just some gaffers tape, I believe it's called from Amazon. 
it, it'll sit something like this once it's done. Just center it up and all that and how you want it. Yeah, this will this will work out a little bit better than the setup I was just using. You can put it like that or like that. I believe it's supposed to go like that. I'm not 100 percent sure. Alright, now what I'm gonna do is remove this inner liner back here for the back of the neck. That way it'll give me room to stuff the cables in for the microphone. You want to try to like even everything out. That way there's no, that like you can't feel any lumps or anything like that. Alright, so this is one Purple Panda microphone and just a piece of gaffer's tape. I never used this stuff before, but I've seen people use this on YouTube for their helmet installs. I believe it's not supposed to leave any residue or anything like that. But what I'm going to do here is place the microphone by one of the Senna earpieces. Alright, so as you can see, I put the gaffer's tape here and the microphone pointed towards the earpiece for the Senna. On the motorized chin mount, they give you a little alcohol wipe that way you can prep the surface. I'm going to install the centerpiece first, that way I can line it up a little bit better. And um, you want to try and get it obviously as straight as possible and even as possible, like right in the middle of the helmet. Alright, I think that would be pretty good, so now you just want to apply pressure here for a couple seconds. All right, now that we got good adhesion, I'm gonna remove the plastic cover that goes on the wing, and then just make sure it's lined up how you want, still. And now you press firmly here to let that adhesive adhese. All right, now moving on to the other one, you wanna Rip that plastic off as well. And now just press firmly on that one. I'm gonna mount the camera onto the J-hook mount. I'm gonna slide the mount like so. All right, now that should be enough adjustability to be able to get a good angle while you're riding, because you know when you're riding, the helmet's kind of on a forward angle, and that should be good. It actually looks a lot cleaner than my other install. All right, guys, this is an adapter, like a splitter. I'll put the link in the description to run two mics to one like input. And um, this was a 90 degree angle I was talking about. And this is the Insta360 mic adapter. It plugs into like the charger port. And then this will plug into here. That plugs into there. It's probably a good idea to put tape on all these connections. That way they don't come off while you're recording. But I put some of the gaffer's tape right here to keep that splitter in there. Because it was kind of going to be a pain to run it inside of the uh, cheek pad. But now... I got one mic here. I still got to install the other mic up here for my voice. All right, now for my particular helmet, I'm gonna try to mount the microphone for my voice, like right where the cheek pad ends, once it's in, like right here, but as far down as possible as well. That way, it'll, it'll sit kind of like something like this, like that. But I'm going to just go ahead and use some gaffer's tape to tape that in there. Alright guys, my helmet setup is all done now. All I did was spread the wires out on the inside. <laughs> wow. All I did was spread the wires around on the inside as evenly as possible to avoid any bumps that I'd be able to feel. And... I just taped this up, ran this here. I put the little adapter for the actual microphone and the adapter that plugs in here. I think it's like the TRS adapter. It comes with the Purple Panda microphone. 
but I put them right here in the corner. That way, like the connectors, that way I don't feel them inside there. And um, I did the same thing with the Senna as well. I put it over here in the corner. But um, I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks better than the other one, in my opinion. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.